you don't have to deal with any of the social backlash of why aren't you drinking or, you know, all of those things that are just unnecessary. So I Question number one. I'm embarrassed to ask this question, but here it goes. When my mind is spinning with unwanted thoughts, I know I can shift my state by drinking alcohol. All my problems don't feel as heavy and I can have fun and escape. So why do the people in the spiritual community think they shouldn't drink alcohol? Is it bad? Well, there's, I think, a lot of different ways that this question can be answered. And what comes to me to share right now is that I don't think we have to look at alcohol as bad. I think that we often do that because we know that there's some downsides to alcohol physically in our body when it comes to inflammation. There's also, you know, addiction and abuse and escaping, right? So I think that's where we want to focus our time is thinking about, am I drinking alcohol to escape? Or am I drinking alcohol to just enjoy life in the moment? And I think there are very, two very, very, very different ways to look at this. Um, I also think that you can have ceremonial alcohol intake, which means that you actually are looking to get some of the lessons that come when you've shifted your, your state a little bit. Now, people in the spiritual community or in general who are raising their vibration, their, their vibration of their cells, they're eating healthy, they're, they're really pulling in um, source intelligence and pulling it through and connecting to this higher vibrational, higher self, sometimes drinking alcohol actually lowers their vibration and they're actually not getting the effects that someone who's already maybe in a lower vibration might be feeling. And when they drink alcohol, there's the illusion that their vibration is actually rising. So it's, first of all, it's, it's brain chemistry, right? And back to the ceremonial aspect of it, if you're actually raising your vibration, let's say you're the person that's in a lower vibrational state and you drink alcohol and you feel like it's raising your vibration, then I would recommend that you journal, you know, go home and take advantage of the, the buzz, right? And start journaling, like what, what's coming to me? Because oftentimes when we drink alcohol, if we're raising our vibration in that illusionary state, we get new ideas, we become invincible, we think we can do a lot more, we're gregarious, we talk to people at parties, right? So there's lots of things that happen from a brain chemistry perspective when we drink. And so I'm just here to say, if you are choosing to drink, first of all, I wouldn't go into self-judgment about it. And again, I'm, I'm speaking to situations where we're not abusing or overindulging or consistently drinking alcohol. I'm talking about the occasional, hey, I want to go out and have a little fun and I don't want to deprive myself of being part of a social situation. Um, I, I think it's a lot about what you think, right? Same thing about when you eat something. It's like what you think while you're partaking in the activity has a much greater impact on you than you might think. And so if you're going to go out, just make a decision like, hey, I'm going to have a, a drink tonight and be happy about it. And if you want to come home and journal about, hey, like what's coming through? Like, what am I excited about? What What's making me feel in this higher vibrational state? Write it down. What am I going to do with it tomorrow? Um, what does this mean to my life? Like, what does this have to do with my soul's plan? Right? Asking some of those questions that bring it back into a more spiritual realm. Now, if you're in a place in your life where your vibration is so high, that you actually feel when you drink alcohol that you lower your vibration, then absolutely there's no reason to be drinking alcohol, right? I mean, there's never necessarily a reason, but I'm just saying that then if you're in that state, then just come up with an alternative drink that you're going to have that doesn't have alcohol, right? So you just have that go-to because sometimes it's socially can be awkward when you're, you know, if you're just with your spiritual tribe and all the people that have similar thoughts and beliefs than you, then it's super easy because nobody's really drinking and it's just not even an issue. But we know as we're on this ascension journey that we often have situations where we're integrating more of our third dimensional life and our, you know, more five dimensional aspects of ourselves and that we kind of get caught in the, in the crossfire of it. 
and it can be a little bit more difficult. So I would recommend that in that case that you just have a go-to drink, you know, maybe it's just cranberry juice and seltzer, right? Like it's something that feels festive, looks festive. Um, and, and it, maybe it's in a wine glass, right? Or something that just feels like you're participating and then you don't have to deal with any of the social backlash of why aren't you drinking or, you know, all of those things that are just unnecessary. So I think first and foremost, uh, don't worry about what anybody else thinks uh, and the spiritual community included, feel into what's right for you. What's right for my body is, is taking in alcohol, something that's causing more inflammation for me when I'm already at a time where I just need to eat healthier and I need to have, you know, liquids that are fortifying for me as opposed to draining for me. Tune in to the thoughts that you're having around it, right? It's not one of those situations where you want to be uh, judging yourself for, for doing something. Make a decision before you go out. I'm going to drink or I'm not going to drink or I'm going to be in the flow of it. I'm just not going to have the judgment around it, right? That's where things get sticky. And of course, if you actually are someone who feels that they have a problem with alcohol and that it's actually running or ruling your life, then that's a whole different question. And I think we have one that's similar. Um, so stay tuned because we'll have another question about that. I think that's coming up later.